welcome back to Behind the Screens. I've got my guest this week, Dave DeSmallchin. Hi. I've got it. DeSmallchin. I'm here DeSmallchin, is. pronouncing it right. We have a lot to talk about. I haven't seen you in a while. It's been a while. We've How gotta... are you? Oh, Good. My... That's How are you? you? I want to call out your shirt because you explained it to me and I love it. Thank you. Yes, my wife, Evelyn Lee, makes uh, custom shirts for me sometimes um, just as special presents. And uh, after I worked with Mark, Hamill on Who? Sushi Girl. Ma Mark <laughs> Hamill, the Luke Skywalker Joker slash every other amazing iconic thing he's done. Um, but this is a, a design that she came up with and made. Um, it's it's Luke going through the glass at Cloud City. And um, as soon as she handed it to me, I was just like, I have my like, own I one chose of a, right. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. 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 In fact, I knew that when I first met Eve. We were in New York and I was working on a short film and she is a, a favor to someone, uh, the director, she was shooting some pictures behind the scenes because my wife doesn't, she's not kind of in this side, in this business at all, she's a painter. But um, so we started dating and the first time that I got to, you know, hang out at her place to play Scrabble or whatever you do at someone's place, she had the Dark Knight and she also had Tank Girl stuff around and I was like, oh man, this woman is, my soulmate. Did she already know who you were when you met her? No, she, uh, she Eve's um, loves films, but she doesn't really connect actors with characters, which is a really cool thing. She has this masterful kind of sense of suspension of disbelief. So not that I was somebody to be recognized, but when we first met, she was just like, oh, this is some guy on this weird, I was doing this sh awesome <laughs> horror short film for um, these these friends of mine who were, had written and directed it and it was took place during fashion week and we were shooting a scene at a salon in Dumbo in Brooklyn and Eve was taking pictures behind the scenes and shooting some interviews for them as a favor and um, and I saw this woman from across the salon and I, she's such a cool my, my wife looks like the one who should be in Hollywood like she looks like mm -hmm. she looks like she, she is could gorgeous be a, confirmed she, and she could be like an assassin in Kill Bill she could be you know what I mean she's kind of a badass too. Mm -hmm. And I walked right up to her, I was like, who are you? And she was like, oh, I have to interview you. Come on, let's talk. And we just talked all day. And anyway, then be being that she is a huge fan of The Dark Knight and she was a huge fan of stuff, um, I didn't want to say like, oh, I realize you're a fan of all this stuff. And by the way, I- <laughs> I was in The Dark Knight. Because <laughs> if I would have, she would have probably been like, so? Or, or she would have been like, who? But no, she, <laughs> when, when she did put two and two together, it was cool how it happened and she was like, Oh, you're a crazy mother flower. You're that crazy guy. <laughs> I was like, yeah, catch. I'm a yes. catch. Yeah. He was the crazy guy in The Dark Knight. That's me. And a bunch of other things that you've done. The crazy guy, yeah. All the crazy guys that you've played. <laughs> I mean, Ant-Man, The Flash, Gotham. Oof. Did a movie with Mark Hamill. Oh, yeah. You've got Blade Runner coming out this weekend that you did with Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling. I mean, what was... <laughs> How well, it's do like you, geek nirvana. As, yes, because I, you I grew up. I look at my resume sometimes. Oh, yeah. I, loving this stuff. Absolutely. And uh, then you've been a part of everything that you true. love. I, it's, I, 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 I keep pinching myself, and, 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 and if it's a dream, I don't want to wake up, you know? I grew up living in my imagination, uh, as we all did, you know, a ton. And it's just the most unreal thing that I get to suit up and go to work and and be on the you know the sets of these of these projects where they're bringing all this stuff to actual like life mm -hmm. you know and with heroes of mine mark my gosh getting to know mark uh and 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 getting to work you know in any capacity with him um or sitting last night last night we had the 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 premiere for blade runner 2049 and i'm sitting you know down the way from harrison M, F, and Fort. Like, yeah. come on, man. Are you joking? I wanted to, like, cry. My wife's like, don't don't ugly cry right now, please. <laughs> you have to look cool. We're at the Dolby Theater. There's a lot of people here. You got to keep it together. I was like, it's, it's on. It's, it's Indiana. Hard. It's indie. It's hard. Yeah. And you've worked with so many of these legends. I mean, like, Michael Douglas in Ant-Man, oh, man. Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford. Is it, I mean, how do you go up to these people and talk to them initially because it for me it's like when I don't want to interview certain people because I'm afraid to meet my heroes sure yeah yeah no I and I still get nervous um and that's a good thing I think it probably would um 
would make me sad the day that I show up to work with, um, with, 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 with a Michael Douglas or with, or get, you know, the chance to, to be in a scene with a Ryan Gosling or when I get to go to work with Paul, even though Paul Rudd has become a friend of mine because I worked with him so much, mm -hmm. but he's still like, I'm like, you're Scott, Lang you're it, man, man. Like I'll see him in his yeah. costume. So I don't have any strategy because I can't, I think if I think about it too much and I try to be, if I tell myself in the, in the circumstances where I've said to myself, like, don't be a d dork, don't be a, don't be a, don't be a doofus, don't embarrass yourself, then I end up even making it worse. So I have to turn off that, it's so weird, Ash, actually, if you think about it like this, like I have to turn off this, this one part of my 12 year old brain. I have, yeah, I know so what you So that I don't t tear up. <laughs> And I also then have to keep this part of my 12 year old brain completely alive mm -hmm. because that's when I'll do my best work. Right. As an actor, I think the best I can do is, is being like a, a 12 year old, you know, right. just playing make believe. Um, it's crazy. It helps if I'm like super tired because then I'm not too. <laughs> well, ex then. Because then I'm like, I, I feel like I'm like dialing back my excitement just a little bit to the point where I can just be like, I'm a big fan of yours. Then I will always, <laughs> then I. Next time I see you, Harrison Ford, I'm going to make sure I haven't slept in days. I'll keep my four-month-old to keep me awake all night. Um, yes, I, I, I'm tired often because I have two kids that run me ragged. Uh, but yes, uh, that's a good trick. You're right. How does this work? Because I don't have any significant free time. So how do you have like children and a wife and then work all the time? My it amazing like... wife, I'm taking this straight to you. I would not be able to do any of this without you. Uh, it's a truth. I've got the best partner for this. And that's, I, I sometimes wonder, like, how the heck would I do this? I was just last, uh, two months ago, we're shooting Ant-Man and the Wasp in Atlanta, which is going awesome, by the way. I can't wait for you guys to see this oh movie. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's going to be a very big film. But it's going to, we'll see, big, but for small superhero. Kurt um, is back. So we, uh, we're shooting, you know, like my, my family flies to Chicago to start a different film that we're working on and Ant-Man had to keep me a couple extra days in Atlanta because the schedule changed and I was shooting until one in the morning. Then you fly to Chicago and shoot at seven in the morning until the, the, that night on a different thing. And I, I was like, g g g g like if I was a replicant, I would have to go into like hibernation for a minute because my brain was starting to, you know, like hotwire a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, but you just do it. And, 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 and any, any time it's like that 5 a.m. alarm goes off and I know someone's picking me up in 10 minutes and I'm like, <laughs> like I want to like, <laughs> wanna, wanna lay in bed and watch Transformers with my kid when he wakes up. You, you go, but wait, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to like Pym Laboratories today <laughs> right. to, to see something get blown up. Like, come on, give me a break. Yes. I'm so excited for this movie because I'm so excited to see Evangeline Lilly kicking ass. She's such a badass. She's such a badass. I was a huge Lost fan, and um, I've always loved her and everything she's popped up in. And, and I think she's an insanely talented person. But um, it's cool. I'm, I'm excited that I get to be a part of. You know, this is the first Marvel film that has a female character in its title. Mm -hmm. um, she is, you know, she's 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 a hero of this film, and it's like, um, what time I get to do uh, on set with her so far in filming has been um, has been a blast, and I I know that there's been some pictures leaked uh, of the wasp costume, but like, it's so badass, man! It's so cool. Yeah. So is Kurt upped this time? Kurt is uh, the hair you mean yes it's iron <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely up <laughs> and it was really cool that you know Peyton came to me and he's like we want to give Kurt um some superpowers for this new film and so he's given me the ability to like I can shoot things out of my pompadour and no I wish man <laughs> like, I'm just still <laughs> I'm just still <laughs> I'm still at my computer <laughs> um, but that's his that's his Enhance. skill that's what he's got yes and, yeah. I know how to hit the uh, control alt delete. Um, <laughs> the entourage, as we lovingly call them, were legitimately starting like a real kind of business venture mm -hmm. when the movie begins with Scott Lang, Paul. And um, as things happen to do in adventure films, things go wrong. Things never really go the way that you expect them to. <laughs> what could possibly go yeah. wrong? And, and us three seem to always focus on the. Um, the least consequential matters of uh, of the moment, like uh, what kind of snacks are laying around, or you know, 
it's it's really fun. That's so surreal too. You talk about like what's weird and and being a geek like my the connection in my life to this world like so being a part of Ant-Man doesn't mean I'm just getting to be a part of Scott Lang's adventure or you know Hope Van Dyne's adventure or Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne now we know that Michelle's playing Janet it's like I mean I grew up I, I one of my first long committed monthly collections was the West Coast Avengers and Hank was a big part of that and then I got really into the Wasp and then I started to go back further into the Avengers but um uh, um, I through this universe and through things that you know you're going to see in the film, the connection that this has to the rest of the Marvel Cinematic and Marvel, you know, um, just the Marvel Universe, whether it's a cinematic or not, like knowing that we're part of that, that like you know, Captain America could come walking in the door at any minute, or mm -hmm. you know, Doctor Doom could all of a sudden show up and wreak havoc on San Francisco. It's like that's so awesome. So you have Blade Runner 2049 coming out. I, yeah, I just saw it last night. This weekend. I know you can't say much about the character, yes. Coco, but what can you say? Coco. Coco. Hey, Who is I'm Coco? Coco, Coco works. Not the Pixar movie. <laughs> I, said, I sent the link to the Pixar trailer to Denis, and I said, I'm so honored. <laughs> you actually renamed your film from Blade Runner 2049 to a movie about me, and, I, and then I like dot that. Oh crap! I'm wrong movie. Oh well. Um, so <laughs> you know, uh, casually emailing me. <laughs> Coco, yeah, and, and and I'm really blessed. I'm fortunate. Speaking of Denis, really quickly. So you guys see this movie, people out there in the world of geek land, and all people who love movies. I've never seen anything like Blade Runner 2049. I've never seen anything like this. It is a game changing film. That's my endorsement of the movie. I sat there last night in a theater. Because you didn't know. No, I haven't seen a lick of anything other than what, what the shot. rest of us have seen. Yeah. Only only trailers and stuff. So I worked with Denis in um, 2013 on Prisoners. Time goes by and that was such an incredible experience and I got to, to know him really well. And when I heard that he was doing Blade Runner, I just, it was one of those things that I couldn't stop thinking about or being like, but he's your friend and you don't, how do you, how do you get to be, how do you, you can't be like, hey. You can't can like you, assume, yeah. Hey, Ash, I heard you're interviewing so-and-so. Can you bring me along? You know, you can't do that. I'd let go of it because at that point they'd announced a ton of cast and like now a year had gone by and I was like, oh, it's, um, there's no way I'm ever going to get to work on the film. So I'll, I can't wait to see it. At that point, that's where my mind was. Like, I cannot wait to see what Denis Villeneuve does with the Blade Runner uh, world. And I got this email um, one morning and after you see the film and when we can talk more about plot points I will tell you exactly what it said it was a moment that like I'll never forget With, without giving too much away so it's thinking about like I want to bring you far into the future da, 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 da. yeah it, it was insane life-changing so I get to play this character called Coco, Coco. who works uh, uh, is a co-worker of um, K played by Ryan Gosling I'm a nerd. Surprise, surprise. I'm the guy who's like what? a nerd. Uh, typecasting, but I work in the lab. I get to um, go through some pretty cool stuff. And interacting with the technology and the vision that D Denis and the rest of the team, like Gassner, who, Dennis Gassner, who production designed it, and, and, and the, whole, the whole company, the way they built and made that future look in the film. I can't wait for people to see, because it's not that glossy, idealized, streamlined version of the future that we've seen done really well. You know, it's, it's, it's the opposite of like Minority Report. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Like tech is actually starting to like uh, fall apart and the, 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 the infrastructure of the society is kind of in disarray. And so the, the things fueling the things and the things that, 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 that construct the things are just, the world's not in a great place mm -hmm. in, in this vision of the future. Um, Sounds like it's gonna be too real. <laughs> it's right. I know. Um, so it's like it was. It's really cool. How do we get you into the next Star Wars movie then? Because I think that's the only thing left. JJ. So we got to hit up JJ. Hi, Mr. Abrams. Uh, I, this is my audition tape. Actually, this whole thing is a ruse that I created with Ash. Uh, I appreciate that. The force um, is I will strong. also be in the film. Yes, we're gonna um, we're gonna play. I'll do it. Yeah, the two Jedi who uh, who show up and basically save the galaxy um, at the end of Episode Nine. Could be, we'll be raised parents. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be re raised parents. Uh, you know, I, I I might be a little young to play raised mom, but I'll do it. <laughs> I I don't know how you make I don't know how anything 
happens sometimes when it comes to this kind of stuff. But I, you know, if 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 I could be uh, someone in a cantina, I'm sure you feel the same way. Oh yeah, if I would just could... be like a stormtrooper extra. That'd be great. I would. I mean, uh, I'm not even an actor. But... In a heartbeat. <laughs> in a heartbeat. And 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 uh, or just carry a, uh, you know, carry a glass across the back of a of a shot. Um, the movies have been so. I mean, I've only seen, obviously, as the rest of us have, I've only seen episode seven, but... Um, You're not hanging out with Ryan Johnson, just watching... Watching Ryan, dailies every watching day, like seeing his cuts. Um, but no, I... I, I, I um, I'm, I'm so excited for episode eight, I can't really describe it, and then, and then to see where it's going to go. And I, uh, I'm, I feel so... Like, we're, we're so lucky that we get to be at this time... Um, you know, having experienced the magic of it as kids and then now getting to like take it all in and revisit it in such a fantastic way as mm -hmm. adults. It's it's awesome. And I get to, now I'm a dad. You know how cool yeah, that is. That that is I get, it's that is so important. I, sh I showed you pictures. It's more uh, important than anything else. <laughs> but I showed you a picture of my daughter the other day. We have dressed up like Princess Leia and it's like, man, come on. How awesome is that? How, right? how is how is not new father, renew fatherhood. Second, second, second time ba around. Second baby. You second just, baby. There's four the, months ago. Yeah, there's 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 a lot of stuff that you are like, oh, I got this because I did it the first time, and now this is this is we know how this works. Um, and then there's the the exhaustion factor when you're like, oh yeah, I forgot. Now I'm chasing a three year old around and trying to keep him from you know blowing up you know my car, mm -hmm. and then. Um, and while, you know, hand managing a, a four-month-old, thankfully our four-month-old Penelope, we call her Penny, um, she's like a little Jedi. She is a little ball of Zen energy. She's very peaceful and she's very giggly and she's just a little, and she's very quiet. And my three-and-a-half-year-old Arlo, he is like, um, he'd be like a bounty hunter, you know. He'd be like, he, but, but like like a rough, rough scallion like guy that would be hanging out, you know. Um, He's a wild man, and um, and and he's kind of got like s s flash like speed ability, which is really tricky sometimes when you're trying to chase him around the house. So he keeps us on our toes. Um, but I, you know, I have the best. Like I've, I'll keep saying it, and uh, and I hope that she watches this and takes me out for a date after. <laughs> but it's true. I have the best the best partner for this stuff, and and she st we still find time to like finish the night, get a comic out, read, watch, you know, Goals. the latest episode of whatever thing we're in the midst of, you know, devouring, you know, or whatever movie we want. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Goals. 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 Hashtag. Hmm. Wow. Hashtag blessed. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks for having me. I mean, we, we met on the carpet at Ant-Man. Ant-Man, yeah. Can you believe now? It's almost, th that's three years ago this coming year. That's yeah. crazy. It's time flies, but I'm. I always love talking to you, and I love meeting fellow geeks. And you're the best. So. You're the best. No, you're the best. Come you're on. Best. No, go on. Oh my gosh! Well, you guys got to see Blade Runner 2049 in theaters tomorrow. Go see it. Go and, see um, it. And I, and I want to plug really quickly. Oh, All Creatures, a movie that I wrote, stars Karen Gillan, our very own Nebula. Nebula. Yeah, who is also you know Amy Pond, and who's in the new Jumanji film. So. Bo like piggybacking on all of her big, huge, amazing <laughs> accomplishments as an actor, I will say in our small, tiny, very personal film that I wrote and act with her in, she delivers a performance that I think is going to just melt people's minds and hearts. She's insanely talented. So I don't. I wish I had news about when that's going like, to come out. I was like, when and where? When and where? When do we get to see it? Um, but just to plant that little seed, please keep that in up your there. Brain. And send us good vibes because when it comes to independent films, you know, it's very hard to like find the way to get it out to people. But yes, I'm very but I know proud you can of that. We're gonna we're gonna do it. So that's sorry, my I'll do a little plug there. Please. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> please, please plug away. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. I will see you guys next time. See you next time. See you next time. <laughs>